Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about the Connected Data Transporter, which is a personal cloud device where you can store your files on a device that you plug into your network and then they're shared just under your control. You can ha it kind of gives you the benefit of having a cloud service and your files and documents accessible in the cloud without having to have them on some sort of third party service. What we're going to be talking about today is setting a folder so that it is only on the transporter device. You may not know this, but the way the transporter works is to help speed things up. By default, your folders are stored both on the transporter, but a copy is also on your computer. And that way it makes it much faster and it makes it so that you can access your information even when you don't have a network connection. This is usually the way that you want it. But if you have really large files that you want to keep off of your computer, or for whatever reason you don't want them stored on your computer, you want them only stored on the transporter device, you can do that. It's a great way to free up space. So what I'm gonna do is, you can see I have three folders here for my transporter. And you can see there's an icon here, this is on the Mac, of course, on Windows, it will be similar. And my storage folder just has a picture of the transporter. And my entertainment folder has a picture of my hard drive. The storage folder exists only on the transporter and my entertainment folder is cached locally. So what we want to do is we want to change the entertainment folder so that it's like the storage folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to click up here in the menu bar and on Windows, this will be in your system tray in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We're going to click on there and we are going to go to preferences. You might think you would go to the section where you manage your folders, but in this case, because we're controlling our local machine, we actually go into the preferences of the transporter. And then we're going to click on the folders tab here. And you can see here, we've got the three folders and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the entertainment folder. And it's giving us a warning. And what it's saying is you're changing this folder from local to remote. And that means it's going to take everything off of your hard drive and only put it on the transporter. So we're going to hit OK. And we're going to hit close. And we can see now that the device is only remote. The, information is not stored locally anymore. So now this hard drive space has been freed up, and but we can still access the information. The only key is, of course, A, it's going to be slower, and B, we will only have access to that information if we have a network connection. If we're on a plane or something like that, we're not going to be able to access those documents or those files. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.